In this video, we will be focusing on our brand new additions to our indicators package that explain how to improve the accuracy of our signals even further. If you haven't done so already, make sure to check out our last two indicators guides that focus more on our older indicators and explain how to set all of our indicators up. The links can be found in the description. We currently have four indicators available. First, we have the adaptive power law fitting indicator with its nice trend deviation ribbons and the projection of the full power law model. Then, we have the spirals indicator, which is good for getting an overview of the current phase of the BTC cycle. You may notice that we have recently updated this indicator with color coding, which by the way, contrary to some of our new indicators, is based on time, not price. So for example, when the line becomes reddish, we are coming close to a top according to our spiral clock. Now we have two new indicators called the Bitcoin Power Law Bands and the Bitcoin Power Law Oscillator. So we will now give a detailed overview of the new indicators. To make the chart look more clear, we're not displaying the Adaptive Power Law Fitting Indicator together with our new Bitcoin Power Law Bands Indicator. Instead, it is recommended to display them on separate charts. So what does our new Bitcoin Power Law Bands Indicator show us? Well, a lot. In fact, let's go to the settings over here and let's disable plot liquidity for a moment. As you can see, it removed the liquidity bubbles. And our indicators have a lot of uh, settings that you can tweak in general. For example, you can uncheck fill graph over here. This will just remove all of the background colors entirely. But for now, let's put it back. However, perhaps I want to change the transparency a little bit. Let's put it to 50. As you can see, it made the colors a little bit darker. So the main way this indicator differs from the adaptive power law fitting indicator is that it has a fixed slope that has been calculated very recently for the most accurate projection. And this indicator is also based on our full power law model and has a nice color coded ribbon over here, which indicates a little bit more bearish price action and this uh, red one over here, which is a more bullish phase. As you can see, there's also this average trend line over here that divides the, these two phases. And uh, yeah, simplistically, you could say that it just divides the price action into two phases. This is a more bullish phase. This is a more bearish phase, even though, as you can see, the price action can go up a lot in this more bearish phase. As you can see, there is also a price projection over here that goes 500 days into the future. So it does not show the next top, for example, but we will soon have a new table that would also show tops. But for now, let's go back to the settings over here and let's play around with some more things. As you can see, there is this uh, moving average window over here and we can change the number. So uh, contrary to most moving averages, it does not change some kind of separate curve. Instead, it changes the price itself. So for example, let's change this to 365 days, for example. As you can see, it smooths out the price completely and starts resembling this uh, straight average line over here more and more, the bigger the number gets. But let's change it back to two for now. And this powerful is also another setting that you can change. The bigger the number, the more narrower this uh, curve over here will become, for example. We can change it to, let's say 20 over here. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the curve became a lot narrower. And if that's to your liking, you can also have something like this. And phase full is also another indicator that you can change over here. So this can either shift the indicator more left or to the right, depending on the values. So our default value right now, as you can see, is 0 0.578. But you can change this if you wish. For example, let's uh, change it to... I don't know, let's say 0 0.2. As you can see, it completely shifted the cycle over here, which is of course not very accurate, but if you find a more accurate placement for it, you can fully do it yourself if you wish. But for now, let's uh, just uh, change it back to the default. Mm -mm -mm. 
0.578. There we go. So I've just reset some of the parameters here to make the chart look a little bit more vanilla again. But let's keep messing around. For example, we can change this upper band level over here to a higher number. Let's put 4. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it significantly raised this upper band if you want to catch the tops better, for example. Let's talk about liquidity now. Let's enable it over here, and as you can see, it's just put these little bubbles on the chart. And what are these bubbles? So, the blue bubbles indicate longs and the purple bubbles indicate shorts. And as you can see from the settings over here, there is an HD mode and a normal mode. So the HD mode shows only the essential levels, while the normal mode shows all kinds of different levels over here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And the identify the most... Uh, leveraged areas on the charts in general so it's a pretty good indicator for trading for example but we will talk more about uh, these liquidation bubbles in a future video now to the bitcoin power law oscillator which can show very different things depending on your settings and it is also important to note that this scale over here is based on percentages but in the future we can also add standard deviations for example and let's go to the settings over here. And as you can see, we currently have relative to trend enabled, which is very good for finding bottoms because the bottoms generally happen close to 60% deviation from the trend. And as you can see, the indicator is also color coded. So red is when the price action is super overbought and green is when it's super oversold. And when we go back to the settings, we can choose relative to price, for example. As you can see, the indicator changes dramatically. And this indicator is very good for finding tops, for example, because they happen very close to 100% when it's very red over here. And if we go back to the settings, we can also choose relative to mean, which is a middle ground between the two indicators. And you can also do weighted dollar cost averaging based on the colors, for example. This is a very good indicator for that because you can put in different uh, sums, for example, based on the color over here. You can put very little in when it's red and a lot in when it's green. So you can do as you wish. So why do we have so many different indicators? A good analogy would be when you go to the doctor's office because they do different tests like x-rays and analysis of the blood to get a full picture of your health. Another way to illustrate this is when you add more pixels to an image, you get a higher resolution and much more clarity. Now we will show a few examples on how to combine our indicators by applying all of our previous knowledge for more accurate signals. As you can see, we now have a fully decked out chart with all four indicators. This works best on our large screen, and you can add a second price chart by selecting a layout here. Make sure to synchronize the time so you don't have to do it manually. If you have a smaller screen, you can just combine two different saved presets to also have a full picture. So, let's analyze the 2017 bull market top. The adaptive power law fitting indicator tells us that we are above the red trend deviation ribbon, so we have to proceed with caution. Similarly, we have even blasted through the red bull market band on our Bitcoin power law bands indicator, which indicates extreme euphoria. The Bitcoin power law spiral chart tells us that the price is very close to 12 o'clock, or a top, and is about to change to the next phase. Finally, the Bitcoin power law oscillator relative to price is at 86 and has turned red. Together, all of these indicators produce a very strong sell signal, especially when the line on the spiral chart comes back below the full model again. Now to the 2018 bear market bottom. We're getting very close to the purple line according to the adaptive power law fitting indicator. The Bitcoin power law bands is spot on and tells us that we're scraping the floor of the green band. 
the Bitcoin parallel spirals chart tells us that the price is very close to 3 o'clock, so a bottom is somewhere very near. Finally, the Bitcoin parallel oscillator relative to trend has turned green, which indicates very good value. Our indicators together also agree on a very strong buy signal during the 2020 double bottom in case you missed the first bottom. As you can see, when combined, our indicators are very good for indicating both tops and bottoms. We hope you have enjoyed our advanced indicators guide. And all of the featured indicators can be accessed by subscribing to our $20 a month Powerlaw Insider tier. And this is by far the best value because in addition to the four currently available indicators, you will also have access to all future indicators. And your support really means a lot to us and makes it possible for our team to produce even better tools and content in the future. This is Severus speaking and as always, thanks for watching.